Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are enjoying my face being this close to the camera right now, um, but today we're doing something very exciting. Today we are doing the Book Tower Challenge tag on BookTube. This tag was originally created by Joel Books and was later adapted by Christine from Poland Banana Books, so thank you to them both. Their channel, their channel tags will be down, or channel their channel links, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, will be down below in, in the little description area. And I am super excited to do this challenge. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a two-part challenge. The first part is collecting 20 books from that. There's this list of 20 different like prompts, and you have to get a book for each prompt or each question. And then we in the second challenge, you have to alphabetize them. It's both. Time constraint. The first challenge is a minute and a half. The second challenge is a minute. So two minutes and 30 seconds to find 20 books and alphabetize them. I'm super excited. Let's get ready to go. The reason I'm so close to you today is because I had to move things around so that I can get to my bookshelves easily. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to head on over there to my bookshelves and we're going to start the timer on my phone and we are going to have a minute and a half to get 20 books and then I'm going to come back here we're going to go through them and then we're going to move on to the second part of this challenge so I hope you're excited don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started okay see you guys over there a lot of fun um, so I'm sure you guys saw me going frantic over there we did not make our time unfortunately it took me like two minutes to do it um, so unfortunately we failed that part of the challenge but it was still fun to find all these books so let me show you and walk through and make sure we got it all right okay since I went over the time we have to at least make sure I was correct in some of these things okay for our first book in the series we have Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files the second book in a different series we have, uh, where is it? Where did it go, people? Where did it go? The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst. Second book in the Queen's Renthia series. The next one is a book of a blue cover. We have George R. R. Martin, A Game of Throne, Thrones. The next one is a book with seven letters in its name. We have Macbeth by William Shakespeare. A book you've never read, Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Getting to this soon, hopefully. The next one is Book with the Sky on it. We have for that Terry Brooks, The Legends of Shannara, Bears of the Black, that's a black staff, that, that's a sky. The next one, an author with the same first letter of their first name as yours. So mine is K, and we got Ken Liu, who wrote The Grace of Kings, which is part of the Dandelion Destiny series. Um, a classic, we got Diary of Annie Frank, classic. Um, a nonfiction, we have The Night Trilogy by Ellie Wiesel, um, a book with four or more colors on its spine, and we have Brandon Sanderson's Warbreaker. That's a lot of colors right there. Right? You can't really see it, but there's orange, there's some black, there's some yellow, some white. That's four at least. Um, a book that says number one New York Times bestseller, we have The Death of Mrs. Westway by Ruth Ware. You can still see my Barnes & Noble sticker on it. And right there, New York Times bestseller, so boom. Boom shakalaka. Okay, the next one is The Smallest Wit of a Book. We have Animal Farm by George Orwell. It's my smallest book probably. The latest book you bought. I have my special edition Ready Player One book for that. A book that has a cover with a face on it. We, I chose for that. Where did that book go, people? Oh, there it is. Okay, Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz. This is, you can see the faces right there, people. The faces, look. Does everyone see the faces? It's pretty exciting. Yeah, there's faces. Number 15, a spin-off book. We have The Deepest Blue by Sarah Beth Durst, which is a spin-off of her Queen's Renthia series. A book that was published over 10 years ago. We've got The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, a book, a sequel coming out next year, The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. There's a book coming out later this year, but then there's the next one that things coming out the year after. So 
I'm counting it. An author is the same first letter of their forename as their surname, which like first name and last name being the same first letter. I couldn't find one, so we're doing Blake Crouch, because that's a B and a C and it's close. A book with an epilogue. We have Hex by Thomas Old Hoavelt. And lastly, a book that has a title that features a made up word. We have Tigana for that. So boom, those are 20 books I do believe. Let me just make sure. I do believe we have 20 books now, which is good news for all of us, which is pretty exciting. Um, so now we're gonna do the second part of the challenge, which is in one minute, I need to alphabetize all these books. So we're gonna do that next and I'm probably gonna fail it as well, but it's still fun doing it, so let's go with it. Boom. <laughs> so, um, we missed that challenge as well, we went over so it took me about almost five minutes to do both of these challenges, I think, is based on what I'm adding together, my math skills. So it did not go as planned, but I would like to show you guys the end results. So if you guys would come with me, that would be so kind of you. Hello, everyone. Welcome over to this side of the room. So I'm going to show you guys the books in alphabetic order, for starting from A onwards. So let's go. We have Brooks, Butcher, Klein, Crouch, Frank, George, Guy, Gavriel, Horowitz, Liu, oh, I screwed up, L-M-N-O-P. Okay, so I, I thought it was Marisha. It was not Marisha. Okay, it's Pesso. Ah. Okay, so that's screw up. Old Huavelt, Orwell, Sanderson, Sarah, oh, I screwed up again, guys. I, I, I did Sarah. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. Uh, Shakespeare, so that 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 was fun. Yeah, those Durst belongs over there, obviously. Shakespeare, Tolkien, Ware, Wiesel, and Winter. Sadly, we were not super successful in this challenge, but nonetheless, it's going to go out and be posted because it was fun to do, and it was and it's great blackmail for people to use against me later, saying that I can't know, I don't know the alphabet. In my first defense, I am not dyslexic, but I do sometimes get confused with letters. My second defense is that I'm learning another language. So that's my first defense actually. My first defense, my only defense is that I'm learning another language right now. So it's okay, okay, give me some slack. But we failed epically on this challenge, or not we, but I did, and you guys watched me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You can totally go and make fun of me down in the comment section. I welcome you to it. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.